My name is Katie Wiley, otherwise known as the Kitchen Wild here on the Oregon coast. And today we are at Seal Rock harvesting gooseneck barnacles. Gooseneck barnacles grow along these rocky surfaces, usually mixed in with mussels. I first learned about gooseneck barnacles from a duck hunter friend of mine, and he posted the easiest looking crustacean I had ever seen on his Instagram. He said, what, what are those? So gooseneck barnacles are delicious. They don't look like they would be delicious, but you're gonna have to trust me on this one. They are delicious. However, the limit is only 10 for these. So you don't get a full meal. Um, they're more of like a bizarre food experience here on the Oregon coast. The best way to harvest these because they are firmly attached to the rocks is to have a sharp knife with you and carefully cut the bottom off the rock. You're definitely gonna want these bigger ones opposed to the smaller ones because as you can see, they don't have a ton of meat, but what is there is delicious. As strange as these gooseneck barnacles look, they're actually really easy to prepare. So come with me and I'll show you how to make them. step with these gooseneck barnacles is we're gonna have to give them a good rinse. They're very sandy and in fact these mouths open up and these feeders come out and this is the sandiest part of the gooseneck barnacle so we definitely want to make sure that they're well rinsed before we get started. Yes we're gonna eat this. So we just finished rinsing all of our gooseneck barnacles and now we're gonna blanch them for a very quick 45 seconds to one minute in some boiling water because the skin around the outside is very, very tough. So you wanna remove the skin from the meat on the inside and I'm gonna show you how to do that. We just took our gooseneck barnacles out of the boiling water and we're gonna put them in an ice bath for about five minutes, no longer, um, to cool them down so we can remove the meat from the tough skin on the outside. So you can actually see how the skin has detached itself from the meat inside if you look really closely there. So that is what we're gonna be removing. So this is the end that it attaches itself either to the rocks or the mussels. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the end off and watch out when you do it because these things make a mess. They splash all over the place. I should probably have an apron on for this, but I don't. Oh yeah. Yeah, so then you can see how the skin detaches from the meat inside. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the skin off and peel around the mouth. And so then here you have your gooseneck barnacle. And like I said before, so this is where the feelers come out to feed, which is also where the sand is gonna be. So you're gonna just want to cut this whole end off. And there is your edible gooseneck barnacle. Believe it or not, this is actually two full limits of gooseneck barnacles. The limit is 10 each. So when I go snag these, I bring my whole entire family, my husband and our three children. We each grab a limit so we all have enough for a taste. Since our gooseneck barnacles are already cooked from being blanched in the boiling water, uh, this recipe is gonna take only about a minute from start to finish. So first thing is we're gonna add about a tablespoon of butter. Maybe even a little less, but I like butter. Your garlic. And saute for just about 30 seconds. You don't want your garlic to burn. You are gonna add a splash of your back squash rolled beer. A splash of homemade chicken stock. Uh, really any chicken stock will do. I just prefer homemade. Uh, 
You're gonna bring it to a gentle simmer and then turn your heat off before you add just a little splash of heavy cream. And then add your gooseneck barnacles. And just a little bit of parsley. Maybe a little bit more. And there you have it. It is that simple. Gooseneck barnacles. So this is my daughter, Bobo, and she is my number one fan with the gooseneck barnacles, aren't you? Yeah, what do you like about the gooseneck barnacles? You weren't prepared for that question, were you? No. No, well, they're just delicious, right? Yeah, exactly. So do you want her to just try it? Okay. What do you think? So good. Yeah, these are one of your favorites, aren't they? Do you have any seafood that you like more than gooseneck barnacles or are these your number one favorite? I like crab. Crab, well yeah, you cannot go wrong with crab. So is crab your number one? What's your number two? Seriously, gooseneck barnacles? Cheers. So good. Thanks for coming along the journey with me today from harvesting the gooseneck barnacles down at Seal Rock to preparing them here in the kitchen. I truly hope I've inspired you to have your own ocean to table experience.